Mark chapter 12, verses 13 to 17. Then they sent to him some of the Pharisees and Herodians to catch him in his words. When they had come, they said to him, Teacher, we know that you are true and care about no one, for you do not regard the person of men, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said to them, Why do you test me? Bring me a denarius that I may see it. So they brought it, and he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered and said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things are God's. And they marveled at him. The religious leaders were determined to arrest and kill Jesus, and just wouldn't give up. They sent a new contingent his way. According to the book of Matthew, they were the disciples of the Pharisees, a troop of naive and energetic young scholars. Surprisingly, they were accompanied by their hated rivals, the Herodians. Though bitter enemies, they had united to fulfill a common purpose, to kill Jesus. And these wicked factions, in their unholy union, chose the issue of a tax as their latest strategy. Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Shall we pay or shall we not pay? It's a tricky question. If Jesus says yes, he will be disregarding God's authority, and if he says no, he will be defying the Roman powers. Either way, Jesus is facing a potential lawsuit. No doubt, delegation felt they had set the perfect trap. But they underestimated Jesus' wisdom. He said, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. They came to entrap him, but instead were amazed by the wisdom of his answer. Although Jesus' main reason for answering this was to escape the snare they had laid, he also established an important principle for the Christian life. When the young scholars asked their question about tax, their choice of word, pay, implied giving. In his answer, Jesus used the word render, implying paying back a debt. In so doing, he was stating that tax is one of our responsibility as a citizen. It is one way we recognize the authority of the government. So what are the things that belong to God? And those things that Jesus says we should give back to him? In Jesus' time, Israelites paid the temple tax and other offerings for the unkeep of the temple. In today's time, this could be likened to tithes and different kinds of offerings used to maintain the church. It's our responsibility as a citizen of God's kingdom. It is Jesus' will for us to return what is owed, both to the government and to God. I will pray that we will be faithful citizens of this world and of God's kingdom.